responsible business owner as ever. <laughs> Good morning. Right, so. Right, so. <laughs> started the drinking game early. Today's plan. Um, I didn't get as much done as what I wanted to do last time. Purely because it rained and rained and rained. Um, I don't like messing with adhesives and things like that. Um, and hoping that the, the idea... So I've come back, the weather's better today. What I'm going to attempt to do today is we've trimmed that one off square, we've cut that one back to the exactly the same length and square. Um, as you can see here, that's how much out they were out. I mean we could probably hide this behind the trim but why when I could just do it right. So I'm going to square that section up first. Once that section's up first we take the width of the end wall which is about yay much. We're going to put the alley trim on here and then we can cut it and put the, the box section in. What I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to get that on and glued, screwed forever on. The bottom section I'm just going to screw on. Reason being there's going to be some bits like water tanks, fridges, things like that. Um, so I'm going to leave that section so I can drop it off if I've got something large to, to, to put in. Uh, eventually, I would like a hatch on that side. It's just the only option I've seen is the Motocraft one, um, which, yeah, it's worth the money. However, it's a massive, massive chunk out of my budget. So I'm either going to have to make one or find someone that supplies another one and show you that, um, or just leave it for now. I don't know. Um, it's it's one of them things where I do want it, but uh, I think it's sixteen hundred quid or something like that. It's a hell of a chunk out of the you know the build budget. Sixteen hundred quid goes a long way to getting either your water system or your electrical system or something that you really really need, other than just a big hatch, if that makes sense. So that's where I'm going with that. Right, let's do a bit. <laughs> it was out by if you can see which it's all it's all hideable in the trim but I'd rather just square it off I and mean, you can you can see there it's thicker there thinner there we'll get it squared away get it nice and like just proper once it's proper we can uh, do what we need to do Half, cause I'm waiting for all the batteries to charge up. We spent half an hour just jacking the back corners up just to try and make it level. I think what it is is this side on the yards like compressed down, but that isn't, so it's sunk a bit. And then as it's rained, the water's turned into me on sweet kind of swimming pool area. So that's uh, right. So so that's uh, <laughs> pouring out now. Once that's finished pouring out, we'll drop it a touch, level it, and then we've got a nice level workspace. Right, so that's pretty much square now. What we're doing is we're measuring this end wall, which is 50 mil. So then what we're gonna do, 50 mil here. We're gonna mark all the way up, all the way across the top. Then we're gonna cut this aluminium angle and we're gonna attach that screw and glue to here, which will give something to butt up against. We'll trim the end wall down and it'll slide inside this gap up to the alley. We'll screw and glue that and that should hold the end wall on because that's pretty much how these things are made anyway, except for the slotted over. Uh, but we'll get the same effect once that's in. We're going to put the big trim on the outside and again glue that so it's, it's from both sides and screwed and glued. Smoking around. 
conversation. <laughs> Bless, I think my grind is coming towards the end of its life as well now. <laughs> it's, it's at that point where I'm too invested in DeWalt though to change over. This is the best yard ever. You know when you know when like most people like the neighbours complain that you're running a grinder or something like that. Carl's come over and he's brought us a tray of teas and coffees and stuff. Proper looking after us, aren't you? Well, it's normal, isn't it? Well, not these days. Everybody's just out for themselves, aren't they? I'm giving it the McDonald's look. Do donkey, that'll do. Anyone here? They should be uh, lined up now. Huh? So because they were big structural fixings before, we're reusing them. And the stainless. It's, it's stainless and it, the theory is if it's good enough for them to use it as a structural fitting before I'm, I'm going to use their, they're the experts He's laughing because I've put uh, scrolls every um, hundred mil, which apparently is excessive. <laughs> I just don't want the arse falling out on the other side. <laughs> well, you're in bed. That's it. that side until we've offered it up. You wouldn't watch that top corner out anyway, so. Yeah. I think if we hold it up, it would whack, it should imprint. Yeah, often safety. Do be careful, I've already put a nail straight through my uh, train and straight through my foot last week, so I've only just stopped limping. because maybe work boots are really, really nice work boots and I didn't want to get them dirty, so I'll put my scabby old trainers on and then end up in A&E. &E. <laughs> Last thing I want is a hole in the bottom of my 511s. <laughs> feel themselves trying to blow when they've got a dust mask on like <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it when you put them on and the film's fast. 
If you're watching this, DeWalt, I need sponsoring. <laughs> So I know I could just cut massive sections out of this and just cover it with trim, but I'm trying to get everything as tight and bulked up and sealed as I can and then put the trim over. All right. Yes. Oh, but it's not quite as far as that, is it? Yeah. Look manly. <laughs> made to measure that. <laughs> that is not bad at all. There's a couple of bits that ain't perfect but friggin' hell. A little bit of uh, sealant and some trim. Well that's golden. Yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. That. on that side that's a, a little bit but in the grand scheme of things it's more room to get a good bead of jizz in there and cover up with some trim happy days right knock that yeah don't want to go too far in some extra seal on it. I did get a lot of expanding foam, but I don't think I'm gonna need it because it's pretty bought up. There's only a couple of little bits where it's a bit pissed. And there's still a piece of trim to go on. Yeah. It's definitely gonna be watertight anyway. Fuck no, yeah. aluminium onto the roof into there that's all them sides all done 
we'll cut this bottom bit to size but not fit it yet because there's big stuff to come in um, and I think that's going to be it for today um, door maybe next week or something I know I wanted to get it all done today but I know there's uh, people out there that are bitching man that they want it all served on the plate with a full build in one video but unfortunately that will have to come at the end of the build of putting one whole video together because um, at the minute it's just what I can do on my days off I, uh, this isn't my job Some people do this with wood, and I suppose you can do it with that, but all I'm thinking is, for the sake of under 150 quid in aluminium, it's just a very, very lightweight, very durable, uh, very strong piece of material, um, and I think it's worth, you know, just that little bit extra, doing it like this. And let's do this side, and I'll work it back to the middle. Right, so um, Tony's got himself off now, so thank you very much for that help because there's no way I was lifting that in by myself um, and I was very optimistic about thinking I would. Um, I mean, we couldn't start too early because there's people that live down here, so it's just rude if we do that. Um, so I only get five hours on this on a Saturday. It's the best I can do at the minute. Uh, but we've got the biggest, heaviest piece in. So I've only got one small piece at the bottom to trim up, which it's annoying that they're supposed to be cut to size and I should just be able to lift them in and screw them on but at least this way I've done it myself and I know what's involved if anything ever goes wrong um, to give you a bit of an idea this is the trim that's going to go on the outside I mean obviously it's just lent up but that covers all the sins so you know when you see these all these massive massive expensive builds and stuff it doesn't have to be that precision underneath um, as long as the trim's done nicely and it's nicely painted it hides a lot of sins so yeah i'm uh, gonna leave this on i'm gonna cut this down and i'm gonna put another piece just up here across so there'll be two pieces and a skid board so anything i want to mount on there i can ratchet on or whatever not not fussed uh, trim this all the way around and i've got some lovely end caps to go on the top that uh, match the front and then, like I say, I'll be cutting this and fitting this, but not gluing it. I want to be able to drop that off whenever I need be. Go inside. And you can see, there's a fair well bit of room, right? So, if I stand on the back over, that's what you've got to play with. Right, so there we go. Um, not masses done. Um, I know it can be a little bit boring if you're wanting to see everything done in a one up, but it's just, I can do what I can do. I'm one man on half a day off a week. Um, it's like I could come down and do another day tomorrow, but realistically, I want to take the family out, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, uh, I think the biggest thing now is trying to probably get the bed base and the seat box in um, and the door cut in. So I've probably got. I don't know logic says get this bottom panel done and the brackets done and the door cut in but it's boring for you guys if i just do that next week because then that's like three weekends just making a box and, and keeping it sealed i know it's not a, a two minute thing and 99 percent of you acknowledge that um the other side of it is do i just come down one night measure up get the bed base made and get the um, seat base made so then you can see it's, it's more visual isn't it um, let us know what you think in the comments because it's one of them ones where it gives me a bit of an idea of, of what you actually want to see it's all got to be done eventually it's just I know it gets a little bit tedious if you know you're just seeing the same thing every week but you can't build these things on a small budget you know with basic tools and have it all done in a week can you I mean, ideal world is I'd take three months off, but that's not going to happen, is it? Um, towards the back end of the month, got, um, I'm going to go out to the woods because 
it's been a while and I know you look like to see it so I'm going to get the landy out and uh, I've got a few social media people come in and we'll do a bit of bouncing off each other because I think there's there's not enough of that at the minute you know where people are giving each other a leg up um, and shouting each other out because I found a lot of people just I don't know if it's a new generation or what that just get hold of someone they'll do a bit of a, a video or they'll share the stuff or tag them to get a shout out then you don't hear from them again so I'm not about that so we'll have a bit of a camp and uh, have it working always thank you very much for watching this far if you could like share and comment it helps massively with the analytics and if you could uh, check out the description below there's a load of links to different bits and pieces that you might find of interest see you on the next one